Hi Capricorn, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm here to do your reading for January. This is for January uh, 2019. Happy New Year. Uh, this is being recorded on December 20th, so it may resonate now, but it's really for January. So keep that in mind. This is for January, like all the way right to the end of January. So it, it may not resonate now, so watch it in January, please. This is for uh, Capricorn Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Things are a little unbalanced right now, probably a lack of harmony. You may be feeling impatient. You may be getting frustrated with somebody. You may have been frustrated with somebody. Maybe it's time to evolve. Somebody could be resisting. Oh, I need to mention that this reading is not for people that are in a happily ever after relationship. If you are just married or you've just had a baby and everything is all peachy, then you don't need to be watching tarot readings on YouTube. Honestly, I'm being honest with you. These readings are for people that are struggling and have questions about their relationships. Somebody is needing to take a step, make a change. You may be involved in a situation where there's a lack of teamwork, a lack of togetherness. And you may feel at a complete loss because it's like you're juggling. You may feel like things are a little chaotic right now. You're probably dealing with somebody who's not really putting in a lot of work. And therefore, it's all falling on your shoulders and it's just overwhelming. Yeah, it's, it's back and there's a lot of tug of war here, power struggles. You're definitely dealing with somebody who is causing some frustration in your life. Power, power trip. You're probably thinking about moving on or you're going to move on, heading in a new direction. It's like you're finding a lot of strength, you're finding a lot of mental strength. To face opposition. You're dealing with some opposition. Absolutely. You're dealing with somebody who's bringing you down. And you're trying to you're trying to keep it up. You know what I mean? It's like, God damn. Excuse my language. But there's a lot of imbalance here. And it's like you're doing everything in your power to keep things under control. And to keep things balanced. But this person is such a frustrating individual. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, yeah, you're trying to keep things happy. It's like, oh my goodness. That's for this, this part must be for couples. Um, you may be thinking about walking away in search for something more emotionally fulfilling. There's a lot of discontent here. You may feel like you, you're at a complete loss. There's nothing real stable and secure with, with this person. They're not stable. They're not secure. And it's causing disorder in your life. And you're just doing everything to make, to keep it together. Um, but it looks like right now you're, you're in the, the thinking process. I mean, you're thinking about moving on, turning your back on this person. You may think, maybe you feel like you've wasted a lot of time. Maybe you think you've wasted time getting in a relationship with this joker. You know? Um, whoever it is that you're dealing with is... Very temperamental. This person is like one minute they're up, the next minute they're down. The next minute they're up, the next minute they're down. And it's causing an imbalance within you. You're definitely thinking about moving to a new destination by the looks of things. You're thinking about it. And maybe you weren't prepared. You weren't prepared to... Uh, you weren't prepared for this loss or you weren't prepared for this balancing act that they've put you in. You weren't prepared for this game, this tug of war. But now you're faced with it and so you've gained some strength and I think that 
you know, your overall energy is, is, is this chariot card. So it looks as though you have, you have a lot of mental strength and you're mastering your emotions well. But it looks like you're really in the process of thinking about completing this cycle, you know. I'm not sure I can play this game forever. Oh, yeah, you're playing with somebody. You definitely got a player here that that is just very unbalanced. This person is like a, it's a constant roller coaster with whoever this person is you're dealing with. That's for couples. If you are in a couple, it feels as though, and, it's, and you're struggling, it's because you're dealing with somebody who does it. This person is a mess emotionally. This person um, doesn't have stability. They're not stable. They don't, they don't appreciate you, okay? There's a lack of appreciation here. They don't even see all the work that you put in. It's like they're so selfish. I'm sorry to say that. Whoever you're dealing with is very self-centered. Interesting. And you may have lost your groundedness because of it. It's like this person has brought you down. You may be thinking, you know, this is an opportunity that I don't want anymore. There's no stability. There's no security at all. There's not. With these two cards reversed, the Ace of Pentacles reversed and the, the Queen of Pentacles reversed, whoever you're dealing with, they're not stable. They're not secure. And they've brought you, they've made you feel insecure. And you may be thinking about throwing away this, this, this opportunity, this this offer because it's not stable. I mean, it's a constant battle. Who wants to play that game constantly? Son of a bitch. Whoever you're dealing with is probably abusive, mentally abusive. They use emotional blackmail as a tactic, whoever you're dealing with. And you're probably thinking about moving. You're probably thinking about moving. But you may be staying because of the financial aspect. Or you may be staying because of the children. I don't know. So somebody that is watching this is thinking about leaving a situation that is no longer stable and secure. In search for happiness and love and security someplace else. They're thinking about taking that next step. So that's for some group of you. <coughs> now what about for the singles? The singles. The single Capricorns. Clinging to the past. And it, this has something to do with children. So some of you, if you are single, you may be clinging to the, you may be clinging to this. Maybe you've already left this person or this person's already left you and you're still clinging to the memories or you're, who knows? There's just children involved here for some of you as well. There's a reason why you just can't let it go because of children, perhaps. But for some of you, it's just the memories that are holding you back. The good memories. Because there's was good memories and bad memories. There is. There's always good. And there's, there is some good happy memories here. But you're starting to realize that you have a better option. So for singles and for couples, there's a better option here. That's, that's what this is, okay? There's a better option as soon as you stop focusing on the hurt and the loss and the power struggles that this person has put you in. You do have a better suitor, better opportunity, like right around the corner, right around the corner. An exciting new opportunity is like right around the corner. 
But you got to remember not to get distracted by the past. You don't get distracted by whoever it is that has caused so much imbalance in your life. That was a lesson. You know, when you get, when you deal with somebody like that, it's up to you to find your ability to be strong. Your, this mental, this is a card of mental strength. You have to find that mental strength to bring victory and success in your life, to make big, bold moves. This is a card of transformation. You get, you, get this, you get this energy when you have to make a big, bold move for your own sanity, for your own ability to bring success to your life. This is, the, this is really a, a huge card of mental strength. So somebody's needing to find the mental strength to head in a new direction, to bring success to their lives you know, in a new, completely new direction. So remember that you do have a better opportunity, something more exciting that will bring more opportunity into your life. But you have to remember to be strong and not look back at the past. Let go of that old idea. Let go of that old thought. Let go of that old energy. You have the power. You have the power to manifest this new beginning. You have somebody new. You do have a better suitor. But you have to take that power in your own hands. You have to... Sh this is the magician sheds the old to bring in the new. He takes action to bring success. He uses whatever resources he can within him to transform. You have the power. You have the power, you have the resources, you have the tools for success with somebody new. Keep moving forward. Face the opposition. Face the, you know, the opposition is, is the past, the future, the past, the future, the past, the future, yes? You have the ability to steer yourself in either direction. You can steer to the past or you can steer to the future. You're steering your own ship. You choose. They're big, big, this is big here. You choosing. It's your choice. Anyway, you have the power for something, the power to manifest or the power to shed the old, the power to accept victory and success if you choose that right direction. We have a completion here, a completion of a relationship. That's what it looks like to me. These are completions. A lot of other people don't, they think it, you know, they don't even mention it, that it's a really, a, it's a completion. Some do, some don't. It's the end. It's the end of a relationship right here. And it's the beginning of something new. But you got to know what you're worth, right? And you might have to face some pain to get your reward. And a lot of people don't like to deal with the pain, so they stay in unhealthy situations because they don't want to deal with the pain. Well, in order to get the ultimate reward, you have to face pain, and that's all there is to it. You may have gotten yourself involved with, a, with somebody that um, was very smothering and selfish. And they brought, they brought your vibration down. They brought your vibration down. It's your, you have the ability to take it right back. Bring it right back up there. You need to walk away and don't look back. Do not look back, Capricorn. Do not look back. This is emotionally unfulfilling. After you walk away, after you walk away, the Eight of Cups, okay, you walk away. That's the Eight of Cups. You walk away. The next card is the Nine of Cups. Wish fulfillment. But you have to face the pain. You have to. You're going to have to. You have to face the unknown. The moon is the unknown. You have to be willing to face the unknown. You know, once you do, once you once you walk away, you head right towards victory and success. Because this card, when you take action, you find the mental strength, you walk right into victory and success. Once you take those reins, once you make that choice, once you find that strength, you walk right towards victory and success. You will. You will. 
but you gotta you gotta face that pain and it ain't you know you always got to face pain it's just the way it is nobody really wants to but right now you're stalling you're blocking victory and success you're blocking your own happiness by living in some sort of fake false lie i'm sorry that's what that is Take that mask off and stop procrastinating. Don't look back, please. You have a new opportunity waiting for you with somebody that is much better suited. You do. You do. But you're going to have to face the unknown first. Do I see new love? Is there new love coming in for singles? Singles, everybody's looking back. Everybody's hanging on. So I don't know. Is there new love for the singles? You need to make that decision. Do you want new love or not? Oh my goodness gracious. Do you want new love or not? That is the question. It's your choice. And you have to make that choice. You need to break the chains with the past. Come on now. Come on now. Break free. Release. You've been holding on to a toxic situation and you need to break the chains. You need to cut the cords. You need to break free completely before this new opportunity comes flying in. Maybe it's here. Maybe this new opportunity is here and you just can't run with it because of who this power struggle that you're involved with with this other person who's stealing your energy. Not putting in effort. Lazy as hell. You gotta know your worth. And if you don't know your worth, then nobody else is gonna know it either. So anyway, yeah, you have an opportunity in the future, but you have to make a change first. You have to take a step before this new opportunity comes in. Or before, maybe it's here and you just can't accept it because you keep looking back. <laughs> you know, whatever, something's happening here. <coughs> you are delaying. You're de there's big delays here. You are delaying your own success in a partnership because you're in the somebody is in somebody is holding on to the wrong one. And I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Like I said, if you're in a happily ever after relationship, this one is not yours. But then again, we got somebody lying here. We do have a, we have somebody lying here, pretending. They are definitely pretending. They're faking it. Pretending they're in a happy relationship when they're not. <laughs> Absolutely. We have that here. So, hey. If you want to live that lie, then you'll have to live with the consequences. It's a card of consequences right here. It absolutely is. If you could feel free, look it up. It's a card of consequences. You live with the consequences of your actions. You have the ability to take back your power to restore yourself at this time. Take the fucking opportunity. Excuse my language. This person, whoever it is that you're holding on to, is only holding you down. Is there a new opportunity for love? There is, because there is a better suitor in this mix. With that page of wands, you have somebody that is better suited for you, like, right in front of you. But it's like you can't accept it or you can't see it or they whatever the case is because you have to take a step first. You have to take a step. Express love through gifts. Giving a small token to someone expresses your love for them. However that resonates with you, I don't know. Maybe you do know who this new person is. But you are afraid to let them in because of this past drama open your heart
so yeah, that's what I have. I feel as though you are ha being forced, or not forced, or faced, or being given the option to really take a step. Stop playing games with yourself, with this other person. Take back your control. Please. If you stay where you're at, there's going to be no success for some of some of you. Some of you, there's you have to choose. You have to choose the the other option, the better option. Wherever you're at, there's no stability. I mean, I can't. There's nothing stable about it. Call the loss, take back your power, and head in the new direction. Where you're at, you're not appreciated. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. This is so blatantly obvious. You deserve to receive. Keep that in mind. You deserve to receive. And you do have a better opportunity. Please don't look back. Good luck.